So uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to talk about point number six of kinematics here that derive from the definitions of velocity and acceleration equations that represent uniformly accelerated motion, right? What we mean by uniformly accelerated motion is that acceleration is constant. The acceleration is constant. And then solve problems using equations that represent uniformly accelerated motion in a straight line, including the motion of bodies falling in a uniform gravitational field without air resistance. We're going to talk about that. And we're also going to talk about an experiment to determine the acceleration of free fall using a falling object, right? Let us begin. We call these equations equations of motion. These equations are known as equations of motion, right? And they are also generally termed as SWOT equations. What we mean by SWOT equations here is that S is for the displacement, U is for the initial velocity, V is for the final velocity, A is the acceleration, and T is the time, right? So for example, we have a car here and this car has an initial velocity, which is U, right? U is the initial velocity of this car. Initial velocity, it travels a certain displacement, which is S in time delta T. And the final velocity for this is V. If I draw a velocity time graph for this, since it is uniform acceleration, the graph is going to be a straight line. The graph for the velocity time graph, this is V here. We have T here. And what we get is, we get a straight line like this, you see. It will go straight line. Because it is uniform acceleration. Okay? Up. अगर आप देखें तो ये this is u I'll call this for example v this point here is v let me draw it like this ठीक है this is v right now if you look closely what is the area under the velocity time graph gives you what what does it give you that gives you the displacement so if I look closely here this is nothing else but a trapezium this is a trapezium and as I've already told you that acceleration is constant, area is going to be half into height into sum of parallel sides. This is what this is the formula for the area of a trapezium, right? And I've already told you that acceleration is constant, which means that the velocity is increasing uniformly with time. And if I write the formula here, A is equal to half. What is the height here? That is T. You see that this is the height here, right? That is T. And U is one side and V is the other side here, right? So this area here represents the displacement. And I'm going to write here, area is U plus V over 2 times T. This equation becomes what? This equation becomes S is equal to U plus V over 2 times T. We call this the first equation of motion. We call this the first equation of motion since area under the velocity to the time graph, velocity and graph gives the displacement. There is another way to figure out the displacement. Apart from this, there's another way to get the same expression. And that is if you have average velocity, which is here, which is, I'm going to write this. This is the sign for this fancy sign that you see here is for the average, right? This one. And the average could be, can be written as U plus V over two. This is the sign for the average. And you know that the average velocity is, this can be written as total displacement over total time. And once we can have this, we can write here 
this average v as total displacement over total time and this uh, s here becomes what i've just you know multiplied this t on the other side mai usko wahan le gaya theek hai mai t ko us taraf le gaya acha is average v ki jagah mai likh sakta hu ye ye jo maine upar expression nikala this one can i write it like this i can write here u plus v over 2 times t and you see what you got you got the same expression that you calculated upward from the area under the the velocity time graph right the same expression that we had earlier aapne o level mein ek equation padhi thi a is equal to v minus u over t aur aapne abhi as mein bhi you have seen that recently since you know that it acceleration is v minus u over t you know this very well that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity and we get what we get another equation here which is v minus u is equal to at and this becomes v is equal to u plus at i'll call this the second equation of motion this was equation number 1 this is equation number 2 no equations ban gayi aur ye jo equation hai ye hai acceleration is the change in velocity over time change in velocity over time right acha there is another equation which is very important and that equation is given in the the formula sheet but uski derivation aapko aani chahiye we have another equation here if we substitute substitute equation number 2 into equation number 1 we get another equation and for example if you have here s is equal to u plus v over 2 into t right you have this equation already and the the second equation was v is equal to u plus at what if i substitute this v there main equation ke andar substitute kar dunga this will become s is equal to u plus over 2 times t and this will become 2u plus at over 2 times t and you can write it like this 2ut is 80 square over 2 and this becomes s is equal to ut ye 2ut over 2 ho jayega to wo divide ho jayega itna mass to aata hai sabko plus 1 over 2 at square so you get the equation here s is equal to ut plus half at square this is the third equation of motion and if you have been given the velocity and if you have been given the time you can find the displacement initial velocity agar aapko given hai agar initial velocity zero hai to direct aap s is equal to half at square lagayenge we'll see that right let us move towards the another equation here which is s is equal to u plus v you know that you have s is equal to u plus v over 2 into t and you know that a is equal to v minus u over t let's make t the subject here this becomes t is equal to v minus u over a this becomes t is equal to v minus u over a what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute this equation here in this part and this becomes theek hai maine uski jagah substitute kar diya t ki jagah theek hai and i can write here s as v plus u v minus u likh sakta hu this 2a goes on the left it's a plus b into a minus b you know the identity don't you you know that a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square so this becomes v square minus u square and you get what you get v square is equal to u square plus 2 as you get another equation which is the fourth equation of motion so in total i have written here four equations or four equations kaun kaun si hai we have v is equal to u plus at and s is equal to ut plus half at square and we have 2as is equal to v square minus u square which is v square is equal to u square plus 2as ek hi baat hai 